Before we begin, I'd like to issue a trigger warning for sexual content. My name's Sierra Bomber. I'm a junior. I'm Rebecca Onken. I'm a senior. I'm Rebecca Henry. I'm a senior. I'm Katie Minocci. I'm a senior. And we're from Westside High School. And the title of our group piece is Not Safe for School. Your virginity is a gift. You have to wait until marriage. Your body is a temple. You have to let in someone special. 46% of teens say they've had sex. Our freshman year, our English class had us write about things we deemed a problem. More, More than, than half of our class wrote about the lack of comprehensive sex ed in our school. Only 20 states require medically accurate information to be taught about sex. Nebraska not being one of them. I'm not stupid. I am 18, a legal adult in most states, and you're trying to tell me that my virginity is a gift? Why do you sit there and pretend like condoms? When used consistently and correctly. Aren't an effective barrier method to protect against STIs and pregnancy. Quick show of hands, who knows what a dental dam is or an IUD and the fact that it lasts up to six years or that with these types of birth controls less, less than, than one person will get pregnant a year. You never taught me how to be safe. You, you never, never taught, taught me how to respect my body, body how to let others respect my body. body. Who is supposed to teach me? My, my parents, parents didn't because they never learned about it in, in the, the first, first place. And this, this isn't, isn't something new. new. Parents have never known what to tell their children or what to tiptoe around. They've never had the knowledge to start the conversation. My, my teachers, teachers couldn't because it wasn't in the approved curriculum because they don't hand out tests with the word sex, vagina, or homosexual because it goes against their, their values. My, my school board wouldn't. Because they care more about parents' feelings than the facts, because satisfying them is easier than fighting for what's right. They, they tell us that learning is their top priority, but I guess that teaching about a biological, completely normal act isn't high enough on their to-do list, because learning about it is gonna make me wanna do it, right? Well, with that logic, by learning algebra, I'm gonna have to wanna do math. I'm gonna have to impulsively, irrationally do math with no fear or hesitation. Because calculus is something I'm gonna use in the real world, not sex. Not like procreating is something humans do. You want kids? You're gonna have to calculate them into existence. My, My school shouldn't tell me. Boys will be boys. Saying no to sex because I don't feel like it is selfish. That a headache is a cop-out. Menstruating a clever excuse. And, and consent a slight inconvenience, but, but it's not. Because my body is a temple. And you worship at my altar with, with my consent. consent. So if I say I don't want to, it means I don't want to. My body is my temple. So you don't, don't get, get to tell me who is or isn't allowed to enter. You never taught me that sex should feel good. Never said that it can be between more than a man and a woman. You said the words oral sex like they would burn you. Like, like they, they were swear words. words. Not just another few syllables to describe what consenting, consenting individuals can do together. You, you never taught me that it was okay to not want sex. We know that talking is hard that sitting across a kitchen table, or standing in front of a classroom, or speaking from a podium, and having a conversation about sex is uncomfortable. But, but if, if you, you don't teach us, who will?